better run, man. Life's a pain, but you got me. Yeah, life's a pain, but I got you. Hey, Parasites. Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. This is the first of three episodes I'm recording tonight because I realized we fell behind on this very fun series, Venom Lethal Protector 2, which technically is Venom Lethal Protector 4. We've gone out over that before, so I don't want to get into that now. But this is by David Michelini and Fareed Karami, who does the artwork, and Arif Prianto, who does the colors. Great team on this book. I got to say, Michelini's first Lethal Protector that he did like two years ago or whenever that was, I didn't really love it too much. I, you know, I didn't hate it, but I just kind of was like, felt very bloated and, you know, kind of had too many characters and not enough focus at times. This one is a little different. This one stays focused. And what I like is that he's doing a great job writing Doom. And I think Michelini does write a really good Doom. So, and as a Doctor Doom fan, I love this. And I actually love the reason why he wants Venom. And we find that out throughout this issue and the fourth issue, uh, which I just read today. But I'll probably do a review, I'll film a review another night. Because uh, I got, th you know, three I already got to record tonight. So I'll save, you know, something for another night. So anyway... This book starts off where the last one ended, where you had this fight between Vulture and Cardiac, but Doctor Doom intervenes, and uh, he, you know, he wants something. He, you know, something that uh, this doctor that Vulture was sent to get, and Vulture was failing because Cardiac fought back. But Cardiac does break his arm in this fight, so he does have to like flee the battle because he's like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to win with a broken arm. I'm not even going to win against Doctor Doom, I don't think anyway. So Doctor Doom, you know, easily takes back. Dr. Goddard and leaves with him and then leaves the vulture to be arrested. So the vulture's like, wait, you're going to let me live? It must be my lucky day. And then Doom flees and then the cops show up and arrest vulture. So it's not really his lucky day, but at least he's not dead, you know? So, uh, so anyway, so while that's happening, you cut back to Nick Fury. He's talking to Silver Sable and he's saying like, Hey, you know, thank you for saving the city, you know, by redirecting the shield helicarrier and not crashing it into, you know, it was going to crash into the city and, and level a few, city blocks and buildings and everything and venom and sable were able to redirect it and crash it safely somewhere else where it didn't hurt anybody and nick is giving all the credit to silver sable but he's not giving any to venom and venom's kind of like yeah whatever i don't care you know there's clearly no love between the two but then a, a shield agent comes up and is like hey we got this message and fury's like give it to me and he's like no it's not for you it's for venom and you find out that the the group the vanguard they have pedro uh, mendez you know venom's friend they have him you know, captured it again. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, great. So now I got to go save my friend, but I'm working for Sable. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to go save my friend without anyone's help. But then you find out that was just a lie so he can get away from Nick Fury. And he circles back in civilian clothes as a shield agent um, using the symbiote to, you know, make him look like a shield agent. And then he gets on the ship with Sable and they go and try to rescue Pedro. So really fun book. I don't want to like spend any more time uh, past that other than uh, killer nuns <laughs> there is a scene where a bunch of nuns that are walking around this campus that venom and sable are about to attack and rescue pedro from uh they they are just like killer nuns and they pull out uzis and they're shooting and they're they got ninja skills some have swords and everything wild weird 90s kind of fun uh so i kind of liked it and there's like this crystal that is gonna if it goes off it's gonna explode and wipe out you know all these city blocks and this you know this vanguard people want to use it to you know threaten the world and reduce the world's population or whatever and pedro helps venom find where it is and they and they kind of stop it but i don't want to go past that because we're going to get into that with issue four we're going to talk about that where you know what happens after you know the end of this book you know because we're going to get into the spoilers of that in the next episode because i don't want to spoil it here i really want you guys to go read it because this book has been a lot of fun it's got some great action it's got some great sequences with venom being shot up like that it's it's really really cool him being very very heroic fighting against this unitrooper beta thing you know that talks with slashes in between its words and everything to make it look like it sounds more robotic but this was a fun book and i love i love i love for artwork on this this is one of the big selling points. Like, I love Michelini. He's, I mean, he co-created Venom. Classic, amazing writer. You know, even when I'm critical of his stuff, the dude still oozes talent and he, and, you know, and he puts out some really fun stuff. This is a lot more fun, I think, than The Last Lethal Protector and it's a lot more focused. And I think what's helping it a lot too is the art is just really solid. I think it goes with this story and the vibe of Michelini's writing really, really well. I think these two got paired up extremely well and so kudos to the editors or whoever on this book that put this group together because this is a winning combination and i have been enjoying this book a lot it's still silly at times it has some cringe dialogue at times but beyond that 
the, it, visually it's great. I understand what's going on in the story. It doesn't feel bloated. It's focused and it's moving in a direction that I really like. And we're going to get into that more when we talk about the fourth uh, issue. And we'll do that, you know, probably next week or whenever. I don't know when this will go up, but I'll get it up there as soon as possible. I'll post it up uh, because I've already read it and I love the fourth, fourth issue too. But there's some stuff I want to spoil from this issue when we talk about that issue. And we'll get into more spoilers in the next uh, in that episode. So if you haven't read it yet, I encourage you to go pick it up. Pick up Lethal Protector number three. It's out there right now. Um, if you have read it, let me know what your thoughts are down below. And if you haven't, like I said, go get it yourself and then come back here and let me know what your thoughts are down below. And we'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much, as always, for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.